I did put 20 gallons uh, non-ethanol in this Arima. It feels really slow, um, a slight vent problem, possibly. <clears throat> anyway, this is a one of the new Arimas. Uh, I forgot what they called the name of this one here, but pretty cool little boat. It's Team Y Marina right here. Nifty Nifty test boat. Oh, there's a phone number. Uh, look at the deck area you got in this boat. A lot. See you back. You got two passengers, but look at the depth and the width. This would be a good little tuna boat for a couple people. Uh, blue in color. You got the hard top. You got the radar. Got the deck light. Got dual wipers. Got the remote spotlight. <clears throat> the Garmin looks like the 18. Got a VHF. It's got two units. I'll show you that stuff when I get inside. Two-speed Fulton. I like these. These are like, more like a pewter instead of a galvanized rust on you. It's got that extra speed. It doesn't really need a keel roller because the way that winch stands back. Uh, no brakes. It's got a standard two-inch ball. Standard flip. Use my pin, my extension cord. The flat four on the trailer wire. Safety chains. Crossing. Spare tire. Carrier. Uh, slanted window. Load guides about seven foot eight foot uh tandem axle gear bath oil hubs brown good white bad white means you probably got to see a lot i always check them when i dump the boat in and i park the trailer i look just to make sure if you travel quite a quite a ways they could get a little frothy looking just let it sit overnight and look to see but it'll look like a, a coffee with a lot a lot of creamer if you got water in there you got five lugs 80 pound torque 50 pounds tire pressure cold. Their Carlisle tires are probably ST20575 R14s. Yes, they are. Uh, you got torsion axles, two bumps, two by sixes, uh, double dipped, uh, galvanized, plenty trailer for this boat. <clears throat> got a ladder, which is kind of cool. Got your live, uh, your wash down pump. That's your screen. I use my drain plug in here. It does have tie down. This looks like it could be like a 15 by 15. All right, looks like 14 by, yeah, 14.5, maybe 14.5 by 15, four, four blade. Sometimes they use that to pop up these arenas a little bit faster. This is a 2021. Uh, it's U.S. made in the United States. DF Defiance B9C043F02121 is your uh, year. Uh, got the real flat in the back. That, you got a little V up front that makes them real stable. Uh, it's a 150 Yamaha stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, internal zinc, each cylinder on block, zinc on the outside, zinc there, torque fin, two coats of clear, two coats of primer, and here's your model number here on the, the motor. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's an F-150 long shaft, 63 PL, 121, I think it's eight. One two one six seven five seven, I believe. C Star hydraulic steering. I could be wrong on that too. It could be a Bay Star, but let's see. I uh, can't see motors tilted up. Uh, uh, let's look inside. You got your tank in there. Yeah, it is C Star. Eight person, 1,400 pounds, 150 horse max, and it 19 foot sea chaser. Wow, this has got a lot of room in it. 703 control box, two Garmin units, compass, East 90, that's about right. Got his Garmin. I'll just go through this and set that up when I'm on the water. Grab rail, fish boxes. Got these sturdier uh, fish on style seats. Uh, it's got the remote spotlight. That's on, that's off, left, left, right, up, down. You got fast and slow speeds. And you got your nav lights, you got your horn. Nav lights work, wipers work. And then over here you got for your depth finder, you got two, one, one. And you got your deck light works, I already checked that. Bilge pump worked, both of those. And it has the live well. No, not live well, but. Should have a worst out.
because there's the pump switch. The pump switch is there. Oh, maybe I was wrong. That looks like a little live well in here. That's a drain. Oh, no, it's a washed down pump. They just don't have the hose hooked up over here. <laughs> That's funny. You need to put that in. Okay. So they, the front amber lights on the reach of the trailer don't work. And then they don't have the washed down hose in the boat are hooked up. And they are waiting for a VHF antenna as well. So the rest of this, and he does have little grab handles. He must have did that after the fact. Does need a good cleaning. And it is a hard top. So off to the water I go.